Hello friends, as promised, here's Codename XXAwesome aka Squee here with a video that has been very, very long coming. Um, I have a whole bunch of stuff to talk about, so I actually have it written down because I have a really, really bad memory. So let us begin. If you're wondering why I'm all sniffly and red-nosed, it's not because I'm sick. I just have really, really bad allergies. Um, but let's discuss the quarantine. You would think that since I've been pretty much homebound for like a month-ish, that I would have done so much stuff. I would have done like um, videos for like reactions, I would have done gameplay, I would have done all sorts of stuff. No, no I didn't. I didn't do anything actually. Um, pretty much on the 13th, my family and I were supposed to go down to Davenport for like a little mini vacation thing. Well, we were there for a day and we had to come back because everything was closed because of the COVID virus. So that was nice. So I came home and literally just kind of bummed around, crocheted a little bit, sort of sat there and was like, derp, I guess I'll read this book, I guess I'll do that. So that happened and finally my new gaming PC showed up. So that was fun. So I've been pretty much just playing World of Warcraft for like days on end because as you do when you get a new gaming PC. Um, as far as otherwise dealing with the COVID virus, I'm not going to lie, I'm actually wearing pants today. I'm not wearing my pajama pants. I'm not wearing the same shirt I've been wearing for like the last month and a half. I actually got dressed. I put some effort so I would look decent for this um, video. My hair kind of looks a little bit janky. If you're wondering why it's looking a little weird, it's not because of the virus. It's just a matter of uh, I had scalp issues and I couldn't get my hair done before. Otherwise it would look better because I've gotten it done before the um, vacation thing I have with my folks. So here's something that I'm noticing as far as this goes. I've gained weight. Since I haven't done anything, I've just been sitting like bump on a log and I've actually gained weight. Like right now, pants I'm wearing, I'm like, <gasps> spare tire sucked in just because I love you guys and I want to look my best. So it's important that instead of sitting there doing what I've been doing, where I'm eating junk food nonstop, not paying attention to anything, get up, get dressed, at least run a brush through your hair, go for a walk. I finally started walking again and I actually feel really good even though I would think after a month, after I've been walking for so long when I used to go to work, that going back and walking wouldn't be a big deal. I would just kind of be like, okay, cool, off I go. No. Yesterday I went for a really like gotta do it kind of walk and oh my god I feel so sore I feel like I just went to the gym which is ridiculous because all I did was walk around a trail twice so when you're at home as much as you want to just sit there and do nothing be a bump on a log get up and do something even if it's just walk around your house a lot because otherwise you're just gonna get fat like me and you don't want to be fat like me so that's what I have to say about the quarantine yeah pretty much I'm not sick. Scott's not sick. Like I said, I'm just really, really allergic because, of course, the allergies are happening right around when COVID virus is happening. So if you sneeze in public when you have to go look for, like, supplies for while you're at home, if you sneeze at the store, oh, my God, you are just like, <gasps> oh, my God, <sighs> everyone's gone, which is kind of nice. At the same time, though, you're like, I'm safe. I'm not sick. I'm not going to. Okay, fine. Bye. So that is what happened with that. Now, something more interesting happened um, right around, it was actually, it was March 19th. I, um, I, I'm an epileptic, as pretty much some of you, most of you probably know. And my seizures, like the grandma ones where you're all twitching on the ground and blah, 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 like you see in like the uh, shows on TV, I have them very, very, very few and far between. I think the last one I had was like 10 years ago. Well, March 19th rolled around and, you know, woke up feeling kind of like a little like you know, off, whatever, take it easy. I had not one, but two seizures. Sorry, cat. <laughs> I had two seizures in the same day within like an hour or two apart, which is moderately terrifying because what are you doing? Sorry. It's terrifying because it's not something that happens and when you wake up, you're not really sure what's going on. And if Scott hadn't told me what went on, I would have been like, where am I? Who am I? Like, after the first seizure, I kind of, I guess, stumbled drunkenly to the bedroom. I laid down, 
And I was laying there for a while and finally I became cognizant of what was going on. I literally had to call my husband and be like, what happened? How did I get here? This is really, really weird. And he had to tell me the whole thing about what happened. And later on I had a seizure when I was in the bathroom and I wound up with this huge bruise on the side of my leg. I don't know what I fell into because like I literally just sort of, I was in the toilet of course. I fell off the toilet into the tub and who knows what I hit because it was like a bruise like yay big. It's finally now going down. But that was something interesting that happened. I mean I've been feeling fine after that. I called up my doctor. He didn't really want to see me right now because all he could really do is um, uh, he upped my dose of medicine, but he, he supplemented pills with my medicine now. So I'm on two different medications. He had me run some lab work and everything came back normal. So who knows why my body did what it did because it's my body. I'm weird. Why wouldn't my body be the same way weird? For anyone that doesn't really know how epilepsy works, <clears throat> sorry, here's kind of a little way of thinking about it. Your brain is a computer. And when you have a seizure, it's because there's a short in the power supply. And unfortunately, since like I don't know anyone who ever had a computer shut down out of nowhere, it takes a few minutes, well, more than a few minutes to boot back up. So when I'm like done with my seizure, it takes me a good like hour or so to suddenly finally be like, oh, I'm alive, I'm human, holy crap. This is what happens. So when I had it on March 19th, and I had it happen twice, the next day, I was just duh, derp, totally like, it was horrible because I wasn't myself. I didn't feel myself at all. And I got my new medication and I haven't driven at all since then. I mean, I'm not, I'm not supposed to drive for six months after having a seizure. Now I've had two. So I guess in some ways it's kind of lucky coronavirus quarantine's happening right now. Because until I know how this medication's affecting me, I can't drive anywhere. So poor, you know, poor no one, my car. Scott's been driving her around periodically just so it doesn't feel lonely. So that happened. Now for other important things, my book. I know I'm always like, okay, yes, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this. Well, I've edited it and then I edited it again. I tried using this one online software called Perfect It, which it's really good for like finding out like, like where you do any like incorrect contractions or if you say something really stupid it can kind of catch it because getting stuff edited by an actual editor is really freaking expensive. So <clears throat> sorry. So pretty much my thought was just like okay cool I'll do this and then I'll go through and I'll re-edit it and I'll re-edit it re-edit it. And what stinks a little bit is I've given it to a lot of people to kind of give me like feedback on and I haven't got very much back from people yet. So hopefully I hear back from them soon so then I can kind of be like, okay, well, I'm sitting there doing this to it and this is making sense to me, but I don't know if in the long run it makes sense to everybody except for me and my brain. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, allergies. So I did get some feedback, but I didn't get very much, as much as I would like to have gotten. So the plan is once it's, once I've got it finished to the point where I like it, I'll probably read chapter one. And then, you know, after I get the other section done, I'll probably read chapter by chapter, which it'll probably be a long video because the chapters are like several pages long each. So hopefully I get more stuff about that soon. And then once it's done, I can give you guys more stuff. And so that's that on the book. I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff I'm forgetting, but I'm tired. I just took an allergy pill. So the last thing to talk about is um, I did get a package of stuff for the Nightwish, new Nightwish album, which I love Nightwish, it's my favorite band ever. So I did the video for the unboxing last night, which I'm going to post it early and I'll explain why right now. Well, actually, no, no, I'm not going to, it'll be a surprise. So you'll have to watch the video to understand why I am going to post it early. So that is that, and um, I think that's it. The cat left, so that's something also. So I have been working on Scott's Insomnium Blanket, so that's kind of in the works. It's just that it's like 300 rows, and I'm only on row like 94. So it's a slow burn, and I'm just kind of like, okay, we're going to do this best we can. And I really got to stop making new characters on World of Warcraft, but I'm one of those people where I like, I'm up to level 30 new character. 
I don't want to be tied down to this one normal person, which is silly. And um, with World of Warcraft, I'm playing both the new current retail as well as the classic, and oh my god, these are two different games. Like, it's the same game, but they might as well be worlds apart. So it's it's an interesting experience. I mean, I wish I had thought to... Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe I will start another character, <laughs> and then maybe I'll just post videos of that, because I am still pretty crap at this game. But, yeah, so that is it for now. If I think of anything else, I will definitely, you know, pop another video up there. But for now, me and Scott, we're healthy, everyone's fine. I'm actually going for walks, I'm trying not to eat all the junk food anymore. I'm feeling okay after my seizures, so everything's fine with that. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully things continue to be good. Hopefully everything's fine with you guys. So be safe, be good, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!